kindly watch this video to the end and learn how to sew a wrap top that fits perfectly now this is the material i'll be using now you can use doll face for the lining to make it very thick but for me i'll be using this lining this is the measurement i'll be using i'll be using 20 inch now you can use more depending on what you want now this is going to be my starting point line and from that point i'll be dividing my shoulder measurement by two and add half inch sewing allowance to it and then i'll be using neckline of three inch by one inch for the back or why it's connected this way now on that shoulder line i'll be going down by one inch for the shoulder slope and from that one inch i'll be going down with my armor measurement which is 7.5 i'll go ahead to connect it to the straight line and from that shoulder slope i'll be dividing it to get the midpoint and on the midpoint there i'll go ahead to mark it and i'll be going in by 0.5 inch now on the chest line i'll be dividing my route boss measurement by four I'll go ahead to mark it and add one inch for sewing allowance, just as you have seen me do in this video. Now I'll be connecting these three dots together. Before then, I'll extend my shoulder slope in this form. Now I'll go ahead to connect these three dots this way. Now I wanted to add that to this dress, but I decided not to add at the end of this video. Okay, so you will see me adding that measurement to it, but I will later change my mind. Now I'll go ahead to divide my round waist measurement by 4. I added 1 inch for that and 1 inch for sewing allowance. Like I said, I'll not be using the dart again later. So I'll go ahead to connect it this way. Now after I'm done, on the shoulder line, I'll be cutting it with half an inch. I'll not be cutting it exactly where I marked that chalk. Now that half inch will be for sewing allowance. Now I'll go ahead to cut it out in this way and now we'll be using the back to cut out the front. So now to get the measurement you'll be using to extend the front after placing your back on it. You're going to be dividing your round waist measurement by 4 and whatever you get you're going to be using it to mark out on the front bodies okay. So my waist measurement divided by 4 is going to give me 8. Okay? So from that back point I'll be marking 8. And I'm adding extra one inch to it for ease. So guys, from the shoulder line there, you go ahead to take your neck measurement for the front. Now, if you want to expose your chest, you want your boobs to show, the measurement you'll be using is between 7, 8 or 9. That's what you'll be using. But if you don't want to expose your chest, you'll be using from 6 inch upward between 6, 5 or 4. And for me, I'm going to be using 6 inch and I'll go ahead to mark it this way. Now guys, after I'm done with marking my neckline, I'll go ahead to notch the back neckline this way. Now from this point, you want to go by 2 inch or 2 and a half. But I did 2 and a half and I'll be using half inch for joining. Now after marking it that way, from that neckline, I'll go ahead to connect it this way. Either you use a straight curve or you connect it straight, okay? I'm just tracing out this back point in a straight line this way. So when I'm curving it, I won't exceed the back line okay so this is how i connected it slightly a little bit curvy in this form and now i'm blending out all the sharp edges okay so at this point i'm going out to just remove that one inch i added earlier for that that and straighten it in this form now at this point i'll be going in by one inch and you can do 1.5 inch if you want and then from there i'll connect it slanted this form now this is to reduce any excess gaping at the top and it will also enable your neckline to relax very well. So now I'll go and cut it just as you see me do in this video. Now after we're done cutting out everything, on the back I'll be going up by 1 inch. Now this is optional but it's just to reduce any excess keeping at the back. Now I'll go ahead to connect it slanted just as you see me do in this video. And after I'm done, I'm going to be cutting it out just the back part alone. And basically we are done with the drafting so we'll go into the sewing part. So at this point, I added SD to the fabric and also trace out the lining following the main bodice. Moving forward, I'll go ahead to stitch it on the lower part here and also on the neckline. And I'll also be stitching the two sides. Now for the front, I'll stitch this side, stitch the down. This part, I won't be stitching it, I'll be leaving it open. And so I'll be sewing the sides as well. So now I'm done with the stitching and the ironing. And I'm going to be joining it on the shoulder line in this form. So as you see me show you in this video, you're going to be joining the shoulder line, making sure the lining part and is facing each other and also the fabric are facing each other. You go ahead to stitch it here with half an inch and stitch it on the other side 
with half an inch as well i'll be doing the same thing on the other side so just as i seen in this video this is a result you should also get when you're done it's going to be giving you a clean finishing i will be moving to the to the rope for the dress now i started it here with the cuff and the measurement i used is 42 inches so you can use more if you want i'll go ahead to turn it from the inside out and iron it now after i'm done ironing it i'll be placing it from this part we left open and from the arm or part that is where i'm going to be pulling it out and top stitch it from the inside now i'm going to be stitching it on this part now if you have excess you can equally just leave it it's still going to now it's going to relax and still going to come out fine now while placing it make sure this rope inside is placed very well like it's straight before you're going to stitch it okay so if you don't want to use that method this is another method you can use basically just place it from the inside this way and fold it in just as you have seen me do in this video and top stitch it in this form okay but for me i did the first one because it gave a clean finishing now moving to the sleeve the sleeve length i'm working with is 24 inch now i'll be minusing five and a half inch and i'll be left with 19 and the remaining five and a half is what i'll be using for the cadas parts so this is what i'll be using for the cadas parts which is five and a half inch so now you can use a gather stitch for it or you can just equally just split it so it gives you something in this form and the measurement i use is 26 inch and basically that's it okay so i'll go ahead to notch this point and also notch the sleeve and go ahead to gather it this form i'll be pleating it instead of drawing gathers you can just do what works for you what you okay with so okay after pleating it this is the result i got now we're going to go ahead to add it to the upper part of the body shape it in this form now i'm going to be joining it on both sides and go ahead to shape it with one inch and the sleeve is ready so our top is ready and this is where you should get so on this part you can just create a hole if you want but if you don't want you can equally just leave it in that form kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notification to be notified anytime i upload new video thank you for watching